He's the captain of his youth hockey club. He's on the bench for the first period tonight with the Flyers as the honorary team captain. And we'll show you even more of the experience that the Flyers have put on high-quality scoring opportunities for either team in the first five. As Farabee gave it away. And moving in is Ajo. What's on the break? That's the best shot we've seen so far. A wrister off the right pad of Carter Hart. Good job by Dimitri Orloff to pick the pocket of Farabee, who looked like he might jump right across the Carolina line. Ajo with a drop. Long wrister from Jalen Chatfield was on net. Ajo puts it in the blue paint. Save the rebound. Score! Michael Bunting breaks the ice here in Philadelphia. He's promoted up to the top line with Sebastian Ajo. And just like that, he's got his fifth of the season. And one rush came back, and as you mentioned, a play was broken up. And then watch this pass just over to Jalen Chatfield. A quick, long-range shot. Chatfield's a little more defensive. But what the Canes do well is they jump on all the rebounds. And they're able to corral the puck. They get it from outside, and they're able to put it inside and bunt Bunting's there in a perfect spot. You know, if you watch the way Ajo passes that, it's, almost, it's off the heel of his stick. It's amazing. They are 11-1-0 when they score the first goal, and 0-8-1 when the opposition scores first. That was a, um, you, look, you mentioned Lemieux in the lineup, has, hasn't played for a couple weeks, but he's there. A couple good opportunity offensively. A little over eight minutes gone by in the opening period as Tyson Forster gains the zone. A little 360 wheel around backhander. Come right back to his D part. Midway through the first. Ashy again. Couldn't get it past Deloria. Lawton down in the right wing corner. Off the blocker of Kachetkov from a nearly impossible angle. And lifted free by Pesci. A bouncing puck off the shin guards of Sanheim. And he will chase it down. York. Backhands one off the near glass. Chopped center circle by Lawton. There is Sandheim stepping in, and he'll fork it deep and hop over the boards. All five flyers change. Good play there by Sandheim. Get down low, uses his glove to make sure that bouncing puck doesn't get by him. He knew they needed a change. Grant Burns moves in. Shoot save made by Hart. Hits the high glass over the top of the net of Kachetko. Hs gave it away. Konecki down low. Sandheim to the him in the open he's been offensive for this team check this out he comes in not only takes this ch chance here and the whole team is supporting him but he stays down low he ends up getting the puck back and it's great work by Konechny to give it back to him and what a great play to try to come back Teravainen gets that save he sweeps it right back to York straight away York to the backhand around Natchez puts it down low between the legs Couturier Sandheim tried to pull one and toe drag and that was denied and after that Teravainen takes a shot but do you think Kochekov gets a save for Teravainen's stick there probably not but Kochekov just got another save on the opportunity by Atkinson Tip it with a wrister that sails just wide where could it be more right a and better fit for any team than with a man advantage and maybe just that right not playing top six minutes but just getting out there and being a power play specialist Face off to the right of Carter Hart. One by Stahl. Burns, wrist shot, chest save is made by Hart. And he's able to control the rebound. Mason in as he puts a shoulder into York behind the net. Chip the paling on net. Blocker save made by Kachetkov. And a two on one short handed. Aho and Jarvis across to Aho. Shoot, save made by Hart. Moving from right to left. On the doorstep, sweeping is Jarvis. A bank pass ahead to Nason. Into the corner stall. Sweeps it around the board. Back to Burns. Long snapshot off the blocker of Hart. And a possible breakaway. Here comes Kennedy. but it starts all the way back in their defensive zone. It's a big rebound and it and a great heads up play by Forster. He, the rebound comes from he already knows that he's got Konechny busting down to the far blue line. So a quick retrieval of that rebound, which is bouncing a little bit. And you know, we talked about their power play woes. They only have seven power play goals on the season. Two of them come, came from Konechny. A turnover, stall with a look and an arm save made with either the shoulder or right blocker by Carter Hart in the opening period and connecting with an answer here in the second long wrister 
from Stahl. Sails just wide. Ristolainen pinches in. Behind the net controls the puck. Wheel around Rister from a hard angle. The checkoff was ready. They usually allow an average of 25 a game. And they are number one in the NHL in fewest shots allowed per game. And here's a giveaway. And a right pad save made by Carter Hart. So these goalies are going to figure it out. They're going to start getting better, better numbers. And, and there are eight goals that Ronta gave up to Tampa Bay. Certainly didn't help his, his numbers. Throwing one out in front is Mason. That's blocked in on Hart. The rebound. Score! Inserted into the lineup. Brendan Lemieux in place of the ill Andre Smechnikov. And look who puts the puck in the back of the net. It's Lemieux. And that gives Carolina the lead back. Jump on loose pucks. And they retrieve they loose pucks in this they board batter behind. This is the fourth line you're talking about. Drury, Mason, and Lemieux inserted. But they're just hard work along the wall. And there is a funny carom off a skate here right now. It's a rebound. And you can see that the, the puck is trying to be cleared there by Scott Lawton. Right here it goes off Lemieux's shin pad. Quick reaction save, and then the Mew just beats Lawton to that loose puck. So that's just a hard-working ship. That's what this line has done really well. A rolling puck hops off his stick. Right back to the neutral zone. Brewery. And there's one right back in for Jarvis. Center pass. Oh, that shot on net by Ajo. Steered aside by Hart. Fluid play, too. The way Ajo plays it, you got to always, you never know where he's going to go. Right to the net. Backhand one. And Ajo puts it on net. Hart able to make the save. Uh, this is just on the zone entry, too. You, you watch the way the Teravinen comes in. He's got Ajo with him. And uh, it's a great play. Sanheim answers. Brings it right back in. Carries behind the net. Looks to center one. Instead does a lap. Back to the point. Long wrister. Side of the net. Wrap around. Try. Stop. Put the stick back to check off. He denies Farabee. It's in the far corner. And it looked like he struggled with that deflecting wrister. In spite of how far away it was launched from. Jarvis after it. Some open ice. Sanhan closes the distance. Score! A rooster by Jarvis snuck under the left pad of Carter Hart. It looked like he had it and almost kicked it into his own net. And it's a two-goal lead for Carolina. Pouring on the pressure at the other end of the ice and... You can see the Flyers are converging. They've got to take risks at this point in the season. I think it's just push the game. They go down and Jeff Jarvis takes the step. Afterburners on getting that puck. He has Travis Sanheim, who we talked about how great he's been angling him. Sanheim plays that well. He's shoulder to shoulder with him. Forces the back to kick it. He said, puts it in the net. Well, the net empty. That shot by Tara Vinen was blocked. Now the Flyers need a pair. And that is an empty net goal thrown in from the half wall left wing side. That will make this a 4-1 lead. And congratulations for Kotkaniemi as that is about as easy as they come. That will put Carter Hart back in his net. Honestly, I beg to differ. Easy as they come, Bob. I'd like to see you do that. Where he's sitting over there on the side. He's a left shot. So his angle's a little tough. He's got pressure here. He gets his eyes up between the legs, and he threads the needle. So, granted, no goalie there, but still that's... For ESPN Plus Hulu exclusive coming up a couple of nights from now. And Ferraro and Steve Levy will have the call as the Canes will take on the Islanders, another team that right now they are in the general vicinity of in the Eastern Conference playoff picture. But the final 4-1...